Welcome to the kingdom. Hello and praise the Lord. This is Pastor Fred Moore and you are tuned into to Moments with Pastor Fred Moore. Thank you so much for joining me on a regular basis on, those, on these podcasts. And thank you for all your wonderful, encouraging comments. As one, one of my friends say, Bishop Darrell Des Bristol would say, your words are encouraging and I am encouraged. Love, peace and blessings to all of you. Listen, happy, I want to give you a happy new year prematurely, but I want to say happy new year to you and your family. I pray that all of you guys have a prosperous and blessed new year. And listen, if you're not attending any New Year's Eve service, we will have a New Year's Eve service at the Kingdom of God Christian Center started at 2 p.m. on New Year's Eve. So either tune in online or come and join us in in, in person because we believe to we're going to bring God in with a praise celebration. So we want to encourage those of you that's in the Austin Round Rock area, come join us as we bring in the new year with a New Year's Eve celebration, celebrating the goodness of our Lord. Amen. Let's have a word of prayer, beloved, then we'll finish up the Sila thought and moment that we've been developing. Father, we thank you again for our time in the word. Speak for your servants are listening. Holy Spirit, you are the teacher. Say things that we need to hear. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, beloved, we've been dealing with the thought, don't lose your expectation. That thought was developed from the book of Acts, beloved, chapter 3. And our focus scriptures was one through five. I read one through eight, but one through five speaks of a man. Verse two speaks of a man that was laid at the temple gate on a regular basis. And it says a certain man, verse two says, and a certain man, Acts 3, 2 says, and a certain man laying from his mother's womb was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, which is called beautiful to ask alms of them that entered into the temple, who seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, asked in alms, and Peter, fastening his eyes upon him with John, said, look on us, and he gave heed unto them, expecting to receive something. And I've been saying to us, as we end this year, and about the leap over into a new year, don't you lose your expectation. We've all cried this year, beloved. We've had death. We are relationships that break up, financial setbacks, health challenges. And even as I say this to you, we're all yet, some of us are yet still right in the midst of it. But I want to say to you, this man, he was lame from his mother's womb. In other words, his situation existed a long time. His condition existed a long time. But verse five lets us know he didn't lose his expectation. So, so far, we talked about how David kept himself in expectation through self-talk of positive affirmations. And then we looked at the signs and symptoms of someone who has lost their expectations. Then we addressed where do people lose their expectations. So now let's wrap it up as we prepare to leap over into 2023. So what is expectations, Pastor Moore? In the simplest definition and the shortest definition expectation means looking forward it simply means in one definition it's a looking forward bill withers the great singer bill withers said this i feel that it is healthier to look out at the world through a window than through a mirror otherwise all you see is yourself and whatever is behind you. <laughs> I'm going to say that again. See, expectation is looking forward. Expectation is looking forward. And we're going into a new year. So I want you going into the new year. Remember what I told you in our previous Selah moment? Uh, Selah moment, truth and thought. Keep going forward by faith. Keep going forward. And expectation is a looking forward. And Bill Wilder says... I feel that it is healthier to look out at the world through a window than through a mirror. Otherwise, all you see is yourself and whatever is behind you. Another definition of the word expectation is a looking forward to something. What are you looking forward to? I pray that it's greater things from the Lord. It's something expected or look forward to and with good 
reason. So again, beloved, don't lose your expectation. Let me leave you in 2022 with these. I don't want, here's the reason why I don't want you to lose your expectations. Don't you lose your expectations when things look dark and dismal. And I know easier said than done. Dark and dismal. Acts 27 is a reference. Acts 27, verse 14 through 20 and verse 29. That's Paul on a ship. They're sailing and the ship goes through a major storm. And what kept Paul going? Because as I said to you in a previous podcast, Paul know who he believed in and Paul know who he belonged to. He know who he believed in and he know who he belonged to. So don't you lose your expectation when things are looking dark and dismal. And by all means, don't jump ship. What do you mean don't jump ship? Don't leave Christ. Don't leave Jesus. Don't leave the church. Don't leave Christ and don't leave the church. Just because things dark and dismal. You know, a lot of times people complain about what they're going through. But I heard a preacher say, welcome. This He said, these people be complaining about, I'm going through this, I'm going through that, I'm going through this. He says, welcome to being a card-carrying member of the human race. <laughs> he says, all that says is, you, you say you're going through, so is everybody else. And he said, welcome to being a card-carrying member of the human race. But I don't want you to give up when things dark, look dark and dismal. I don't want you to give up because it seemed like you're experiencing some divine delays. Look at Luke chapter 12, verse 42 through 48. I don't want you to live. Listen, sometimes the delays are divine delays. Luke 12, 42 through 48. Because the Bible says in Proverbs 13, 12, hope deferred make the heart sick. But when the desire cometh, it is a tree of life. Sometimes we actually get discouraged and depressed because we're dealing with a divine delay. So let me close this year in this podcast with some promises that you and I need to believe for on expectation. Psalm 62.5. Psalm 62.5 says this. My soul, again, is David talking to himself. Wait thou only upon God, for my expectation is from him. That's Psalm 62, 5, Proverbs 23, 18. For surely there is an end, and thine expectation shall not be cut off. That's Psalm, Proverbs 23, 18. Then Proverbs 24, 14. So shall the knowledge of wisdom be unto thy soul when thou hast found it, then there shall be a reward. And thy expectation shall not be cut off. Don't lose your expectation. This is Pastor Fred Moore. This has been Sea Light Moments with Pastor Fred Moore. Love, peace, and blessings. And may you have a happy and prosperous and blessed new year. <music>